protect your valuable cigars and amaze your friends with a genuine leather case to hold them you make yourself. In this video, we will show how to design and construct a top quality case to hold your cigars in grand style. You can decorate them and personalize them as you would any other leather craft project. I will begin the process by aligning three of my dowel sticks on a piece of light cardboard or you could use uh, heavy paper and I'll trace around it with a pencil. Next I will add one to three eighth of an inch to each side and that will make us then about uh, uh, make our width about uh, three and a half inches wide. So now I will make my case three and a half inches wide. I'll draw a line as you can see. I will come over three and a half inches and I will draw another line. I will also add three-eighths of an inch on the bottom. Now at this time I will use my square to draw this line. It's very important that we get this line exactly 90 degrees from the edge. Now, our cigars are six inches tall, but we don't need our case to be six inches tall. The bottom part of the case we will make about five inches tall. So I will put a mark there. and a mark here. Now I will draw another line between those two. And I'll double check to make sure this is square. And it is. Now we can take these measurements, uh, which in this case it's a perfect rectangle, five inches, by three and a half inches. And I will then take the material that I'm going to use for a template. I'm now using some of the bag stiffener. I like to use this for cutting templates because it's quite durable and it's easy to work with. So I will now cut out the rectangle for my bottom piece. We will be cutting two of these, by the way, one for the front and one for the back. Next, I will use a circle template, and with the one and a half inch circle, I will draw an arc on the bottom, as you can see, and I will do that on the bottom only. And next, I will carefully take a shears 
and cut the corners. And now we are ready to cut leather for the front part. And now we are ready to cut the parts for the bottom section of our case. Next, I will cut another template, which is exactly one half inches wider than the bottom part, and the same height, and this will become the cover or the top part. Next, we will cut leather. I'm going to use the template that we made, and I will place it carefully on the leather, and with my scratch all, I will carefully trace around the outside of our template. Now, we will cut two of these, and in case there's any inconsistencies with my template, I will turn it over and cut from the other side. And now we can cut our leather. I, I always like to use a uh, straight edge whenever I can. And so we will use that now to cut all of the straight lines of our leather. This leather, by the way, is four to five ounce vegetable tanned leather. It's uh, important to use vegetable tan leather because later we will be forming this when it's wet. So it's necessary to get water into the leather. Even though I have traced the corners on the leather, we will not cut them at this time. I will now cut the other piece. And now, I will do the same thing with the larger piece that we'll use for the top. And I will, as we did with the bottom, I'll flip it over and trace the other side. And we will cut it out very carefully the same way.